Um, okay, so I explained this yesterday to you, um, but today you're going to be doing, uh, it's called Variations of Human Face Activity. So if um, you do not have your packets right now, then maybe the substitute teacher, if you don't mind, to stop the video and pass out their packets so that they can kind of follow along. Um, it might be a little bit helpful if they can see, you know, how this works. So... Um, all right, so the background I read yesterday, but uh, so basically right now what you need is a pencil, a partner, your packet, and a coin, okay? A penny works, a dime works, anything that's a heads and tails. Either one works, okay? So we're going to set that aside. So let's talk about this just a little bit. Um, so the procedure, to determine the genotype for each trait listed, each partner will flip their coin. So remember... One partner has to contribute an allele as well as the other partner contributing the allele. Remember what I talked about yesterday about being mature about this. I know that it says on here that you need a spouse. Okay, I don't really care about that. I don't think we're even numbers, boys and girls anyway. Um, so as long as you have a partner to do this with, that's great. If you want to do it with the opposite sex partner, then wonderful. But if you know if you don't or um, you don't care, then you know just grab a partner and make it work. Okay. Um, so, heads is dominant and tails is recessive. Remember, dominant is the big letter and recessive is the lowercase letter. So, make sure that you, you know, if you can't remember that, then write that right there on that front page. So, where it says dominant and recessive, make sure you write lowercase or uppercase if you can't remember that, okay? Record the gene contributed by each parent on the data table. So on the very last page, you have this data table, okay? And so parent or child one here and then child two on the other side, all right? Um, so make sure that you are recording those. Now, I know yesterday I said I didn't care if you recorded on here or within the packet, and I still don't care, but just make sure that you're recording them, okay? So we're going to set that aside. Um, so you're... I know it says to do child one and then do child two. Um, it's easier and it's a little bit faster, okay, hint, hint, if you do them at the same time. So if you do all colored eyes at the same time, um, and I'll kind of show you that, okay? So first thing you're going to do is determine the sex of the baby. And so who flips for this? Do you remember? Tell your partner who flips for this quickly. Okay, so in real life, males will... Um, determine the sex of the uh, offspring. And so um, in this case, if you have a partner that it's a boy, um, go ahead and allow them to flip. If you don't, then somebody decide who's going to flip and then um, make sure you know which one's which. Heads are boys, tails are girls, okay? So we'll flip our coin. I have heads, and so um, it's going to be a boy, all right? And so on your chart here, you're going to write... The parents' names, obviously. And then you're going to write uh, the sex of the child, which in this case is a male. Okay? Um, and then, of course, you can name your child because that's kind of fun. Okay? So why don't we name him, uh, I don't know. What are we going to name him? Dumbo. I like the name Dumbo. We're going to name him Dumbo. Okay? Um, okay. So moving on to the next page. So you've now given your child a gender. You have given your child a name, and so you can also write that here. Remember, each partner is going to fill out this packet, this portion of the packet, for one child. Okay, and that partner will be responsible at the end for drawing that one child. Okay, so you will be responsible for drawing a child, and your partner will be responsible for drawing the second child. So make sure that you understand that. Um, okay, so the first one, face shape. Round is dominant, okay? And so in this case, we can have two round... Uh, genotypes. You can have a capital R, capital R, which is um, a homozygous dominant, right? Um, or we can have a heterozygous, capital R, lowercase r. So that would be considered round. So if we flip for that, it ends up round. Um, if they have a square face, it is homozygous recessive, which is two lowercase r's. So let's go ahead and flip. I'm going to pretend I have a partner here. Okay, so I'm going to flip. My first flip was heads, and if we look back at that front page, you can see, okay, that heads is dominant. And so I know that this is going to be a capital R here. So I'm going to write capital R right here, okay, for my first child. My partner is going to flip. Okay, they flipped. They also have heads, and so it's going to be another capital R. So it's capital R, capital R. Now turn to your partner. What uh, 
face shape does my baby have? What face shape? Capital R, capital R, or homozygous dominant is a round face shape. So what I'm going to do is I can circle that if I'd like to, and then I'm going to draw a round face, okay, on my paper. Round. Easy. Super easy. You'll never do anything easier. Okay, you might do something easier, but this is pretty easy. All right, and so you're going to do that for all of these. You're going to do the chin shape, the cleft chin. Cleft chin is when they have a little, little dimple right there, cute little dimple. Um, widow's peak is when the hair, uh, you know, just kind of peaks right here, so that's what that is. Um, let's see. Oh, the hair body, if it's, like, curly or whatever. Um, eye color. So this is the, this is the deal. You have to flip twice. Each person has to flip twice on the eye color. And the reason why, so if you turn to that third page there, the reason why is because there's so many eye colors. Can you see that? So many eye colors that, um, you know, it, um, it wouldn't work if you just flipped once. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a, a sample one here. So, um, I'm going to flip for the very first allele which would be these right here, the, the first A. So I'm gonna flip, and mine's tails, and so it's gonna be a little A, so I know it's gonna be one of these three right here. So it's gotta be a little, or, well, one of these uh, five, right? Six, something like that. I can't read backwards. My video's backwards for me, <laughs> okay? My second one that I am contributed, so I contributed an A, I contributed a lowercase a, and I just contributed a lowercase b, all right? Now my partner is going to flip, and they contributed a lowercase a, so we know we have two lowercase a's and a lowercase b, and they contributed an uppercase b. So we have two lowercase a's, a lowercase b, and an uppercase b, which would be dark blue. Can you see that? So two lowercase a's, an uppercase b, and a lowercase b is dark blue. So my baby's eyes are dark blue, okay? So you don't have to do anything for that on here um, because, I mean, we already have done the eyes, what shape the eyes are. Okay, I think we have anyway. Yep. All right, and you're going to go through and you're going to do this. You're going to do the same thing uh, for hair color. You'll flip twice, each of you, Okay. So the biggest thing to remember here is just what's dominant and recessive. So tails are recessive and heads are dominant. Super easy. Okay? So you're going to do the rest of this. Um, I don't think there's anything else I kind of have to explain here. Nope. Y'all know what dimples are, right? These little things right there. Okay. Um, so once you're done and you have this whole thing filled out here, or if you're going to do it on the paper, you have the rest of the packet filled out, um, you're going to draw your baby. Uh, you're probably not going to get to this today, and that's okay. Um, if for whatever reason you do get to this today, then grab a white sheet of paper over here on, um, next to the printer, and um, you can, you know, get started on that. Obviously, you need to color your baby. Um, you don't live in a black and white world, so we color. Um, you know, got to color his skin, color the eyes, color the hair, make her all pretty if it's a girl, and make him handsome if he's a boy, um, whatever the case might be. So hopefully that this is really easy for you. Um, I tried to make that as quick as possible. Um, you know, if you have any questions, uh, the substitute will have my email on the lesson plans. Feel free to uh, shoot me an email and have a wonderful day. Have fun with this. Uh, remember, no flying coins. We talked about this yesterday. The coins stay at your table, okay? Not flying off in outer space. All right? Have fun. Bye.